A former NFL star, Tim Tebow, joined a bipartisan group of lawmakers to introduce a new piece of legislation that will help identify and rescue victims of child sexual abuse. It is called the Renewed Hope Act of 2024. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales spoke with the Heisman Trophy winner about why this new law is needed. Eric. Well, good evening, Tracy. Yes, the 36-year-old popular Christian athlete and founder of the Tim Tebow Foundation continues his work to combat human trafficking. Now those efforts are paying off big. A new piece of legislation has been introduced to enhance the capability to identify and locate more than 50,000 unidentified children who've been abused, raped, and even tortured. It's not just images. It's not just videos. It's boys and girls that are in the worst moments of their life and then people are celebrating it, meditating on it, focusing on it, reliving it over and over and over again. The Renewed Hope Act will fight against child exploitation by hiring hundreds of new computer forensic and criminal analysts and hire experts in victim identification to track the location of these children in need and put the abusers behind bars. Lawmakers say it's a good start. America ought to be committed four square fully, relentlessly to stopping the scourge of child sexual abuse material. These children that we are here today to advocate for are the voiceless and the vulnerable. And together, the Tebow Foundation and the members here are committed to ensuring that we give them that voice. Tebow tells me saving kids is his passion and believes God gave him his talents and platform to help others. You know, I believe the best definition for a calling is an urgent divine invitation to accept responsibility for a particular task. And that's our responsibility. We better be willing to do whatever it takes. And this is just the beginning. You want to see more legislation like this? We want to see legislation. We want to see rescues. We want to see impact. We want to see um, hope being brought to boys and girls. And... We want to see lives flourishing once again. It is important to note that the Renewed Hope Act is up against the clock for this session of Congress. Only 10 legislative days remain before Congress recesses for October. And any leftover bills would have to be taken up in a lame duck session of Congress. That won't happen until after the November elections. Tim Tebow tells me that he hopes lawmakers can get it done. Tracy.